And I know as artists, we put our heart and soul into our products. And we, we, we design our products with love. But we still want the products to eventually, you know, bring the money. <laughs> just like, it's just like, when is the money going to come? <laughs> When is the money going to come? I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, when is the money going to come? Um, I need, I need the money to come. <laughs> I, need, I need the money to come in now. I, I feel like a rat on a hamster wheel and I have got so many bills to pay. And I need the money to come in now. I need, like, to start getting paid for the shit that I do. So, um, this is another front-facing um, front camera video. I know the quality is not going to be that great. Fuck it. Um, and I've told myself that um, if I turn on the camera, which I just did spontaneously, and do this video, I'm not going to intentionally right not going to add any flashy b-roll to make this video more interesting than it is this is literally a talking head video because i want this video to go up immediately if the video doesn't go up immediately i will um i will tell myself that this is not the appropriate kind of video to put up on, <laughs> on youtube i will lose my nerve and i will just erase this video but I just feel like it's I feel like I want to I feel like I want to talk about this for like a little bit for anyone out there who's going through the same thing. I I actually need someone to talk to so I encourage anyone who's watching this video or listening to this to put a comment underneath man and like help me out. So like I've I've been like I am tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I just caught myself feeling really kind of um, demotivated. So I've spent the last couple of, probably a good portion of the day, right, um, trying to market myself online. And um, I haven't even had a shower yet and I'm, I'm about to go and have a shower. But I'm sitting here and I've got my hands on my head because I'm tired. Because I feel like, like, like my marketing efforts are like perpetual. I feel like a mouse on one of them wheels. I feel like I'm always, always trying to market myself. I'm always thinking of new things to do and new ways to serve so that I can make an income. <laughs> so that... So I can have some money coming in because I I am struggling. I'm struggling. And I just I feel like I'm perpetually marketing. So so like today, right? Today. Just specifically today. Uh I have been um trying to get into my affiliate account. So I heard, you know, what I mean, I listen to a lot of different marketing uh, people online and everyone talks about affiliates right affiliate marketing as a way to bring in an income so I thought okay fuck it I'll do that too and I spent the last um the start of the year looking into different accounts to find different um companies um that I could affiliate with and affiliate with that are associated to the companies of the products that I already use right so that's what I do I recommend things that I already that I'm using so today, <laughs> today I've gone into all my affiliate accounts, right? Tried to get in there, tried to get links and, and, and different hoo-ha and then gone into an, a post that I wrote several weeks ago and add the links to the post, right? That's what I've been doing for most of the day, right? I've also um, recently started twitching. I'm on Twitch. And here is where I would put some fun B-roll of, of me on Twitch, but I'm not doing that. This is a straight video. 
I've been twitching and I've recently just put a banner up on my Twitch stream um, of all my garments that have the different textile prints that I've done um, for my other collections as a way to be able to kind of, again, market what I do as a designer, right? I've been doing that over two days because it the I haven't been able to get the dimensions right. Okay, cool. I've also been um, making th uh, uh, thumbnail art for like uh, YouTube videos. I've updated my thumbnail art on like two of my videos where I'm reviewing cartridge paper. Um, I've been dropping links into different um, like into different uh, 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 places on my like on my twitch platform like oh you can find the discord here because i have a discord now i'm so 2020 so i'm so 2021 <laughs> i have a discord now and like trying to put my links in places where people can find me right i have a patreon i've started a brand new patreon account um and i've 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 got a patreon now and i, I spent five full days doing that patreon account right five full whole days staying up till three in the morning um because it's it's a platform where you, like you can either be vulnerable or you can or you can be a bit like distant and i was like i can't tell my story if i add in a little vulnerability so i had to do, <laughs> i had to like really rethink how i was going to do it and then i had to read and then at the same time of doing my patreon page i had to i had to redo my um interview chantelle page on my website because at the time I thought I could only move images from one I can only put images up onto Patreon if I use the URL link because Patreon tells you that to upload a vi an, an image you have to find the URL link which means that your image has to be on the internet somewhere but in actuality you don't have to do that because out of sheer tiredness <laughs> and not wanting to lose my content on Patreon, I copied and pasted it into a Word document and realized that I could actually copy and paste pictures onto Patreon. Thank you, Patreon, for not giving me that information and have me work four days just like IRLing, used, trying to find the links to the IRL and dropping it in different places on Patreon. That system is not up to date. They need to update their system like with, that, with, with, with putting your information on the page. I digress. So I'm just like, I'm sitting here, right, after like two weeks, two weeks of just perpetual marketing. Also, have a new blog, uh, a new podcast. And I've been dropping links in different places about the podcast. I've been, have to, I've had to make thumbnail art about that. I've asked people if they could help me share the podcast, right? And, and like, you know, triggering my um, my introversy, doing all these things because it doesn't come naturally for me to ask for help for people. I don't really like the limelight. I'm on the internet for work and it's work alone. But after I come off the internet, I'm just like, a, I need to just decompress from it all, right? So I'm sitting here after two weeks of doing all this, all these things, right? And I'm like, I'm actually tired because the marketing never seems to stop. And I wouldn't mind so much if there was money. I feel really emotional. I wouldn't. I, I'm going to try not to cry. I wouldn't mind so much if the money came in, if the money was coming in to balance out how much marketing I'm doing. And you remember, I've been on this journey since 2011. That's when I that's when I launched. That's when I launched my label, my clothing label in 2011 under the under under the name, the Urban Tiger. And I have just been trying to get that trying to get my label noticed and people like to come over and trying to make money doing the thing i want to do full time for 10 years with no no move on that the needle hasn't moved on it and 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 i'm just tired <laughs> just tired i'm just like my electric bill is just I think my electric's gone up because I'm putting money on my account and it's just coming off. It's not like, it's just coming. It's just been, they're just spending my money like water, right? And there's the council tax to pay, that that freaking little payment that trips you up every year, the council tax. Not to mention for the cost of food has gone up and my cost of food has gone up because um, uh, it's been a whole 365 days now since I lost my ability to walk. 
right? And things have been financially really hard because it stopped me from being able to have my private treatment to help me with my, uh, with the problem with my back, which is causing the problems with everything else, right? I've had to stop my, my private medical care because first of all, I can't afford to get there, right? I tried to get there on two occasions and the, the Uber bill was high and then I have to pay for it and then I have to get back home. And then travel has also been really painful for me. So can't do that, right? Can't, can't travel in luxury. Can't travel because it was hurting too much in the beginning. And now that the pain has come down some, now I actually just can't travel because I can't afford to, I can't afford an Uber to get there. Do you understand what I'm saying? And even if I got there, I couldn't afford, I couldn't afford, I couldn't afford to um, have the treatment because I've had to rely on Amazon as the, um, the food delivery provider for me because they have like, you can order on Amazon, like I can order on Amazon now and I can get my delivery tomorrow. And in some cases I can get my delivery tonight. And for someone in my position having this disability, it's that is like amazing. So I've been using Amazon. Amazon's more expensive than Tesco. <laughs> so I've just been Amazon it up for a year. Do you know what I mean? The cost of living over this year has just gone through the roof. And I just want to know, man, when is the money coming? Like, when is the money going to come so that I can, like, live like a normal person? You know? I just want to live like a normal human being. I want to be able to, like, just even entertain the idea of booking a holiday somewhere. I don't even need to leave the country. I would just be happy just going on some kind of excursion. Like, take me to the Lake District. I could, I could spend a week by the lake in the lake district i'm happy take me to cornwall i'll be happy to spend a week in a little cottage in cornwall you know what i mean i'm not even asking to leave the country i don't need to get on a plane i'd love to get on a plane i'd love to go to barbados and see my family but i'm not even asking for that do you know what i mean i just would like to be able to like i've got different things like, i want to be able to finish off this clothing collection right i've got this collection that i keep talking about in different videos <laughs> And I haven't got the energy to do, and I've got all these different, like there's all this content to put out on YouTube, right? But it's hard on my body to sit and, and to, and to um, edit a video. So I, life is going on and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm recording more and more content, but I can't catch up with, with editing it to put it up on YouTube, right? So that also, that also, right? detracts from attention towards me and what I'm doing because if I can't put videos up showing what I'm doing I can't market myself and I'd like to be able to finish off buying the fabric I designed all my textile prints and I'd like to be able to buy the fabric just to finish off buying the fabric would be great I just I want to like I want to buy equipment that I need for my studio without having to think about if it's gonna if it's gonna get in the way of me paying a bill. I do not want to keep having to compartmentalize money. Do you know what I mean? I I just want the money to come in. And I, I feel like I'm doing so much. And I wonder whether or not I'm doing too much. But I feel like I'm doing so much and I've been doing it for so many years. And you know what? I've been at this for 10 years, right? 11 years in August and I feel like only in the last two have have do people have like have I managed to kind of like like only in the last two years do I feel people have actually started to know who I am in the last two years out of out of out of the 10 and I'm just like this is cray cray it's so this is so much marketing you have to do and like I said I wouldn't mind but I'm just like I just like I want to know when the money's coming in and I know they say don't do things motivated by money, right? Don't make things for the money. And I agree with that because as soon as you start thinking about, like, I need to make money from this, your your vibration gets all twisted up and your intentions get muddled and things don't go right. I get it. And everything I produce, I produce out of love. But I really want the money to come in because at the end of the day, I do have bills. I am a human being and I would like a life. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what side hustles to do, right? And in my position, I can't do a normal job. I can't go out there and work. 
I can't do that. So, like, I got frustrated a few weeks ago and, and I was thinking about, like, how am I going to bring some money? Because I need to gen I need to generate some money. And I was like, I've got hands. I've got gifts. There's things that I'm able to do that other people can't do that they would enjoy. And I thought, let me just start opening up some stores online, right? And selling everything that I've ever done with my hands. No niche. Just everything I've ever done with my hands. And just watch to see what people are attracted to. And maybe that's a way as a side hustle, well, all the hustles, to bring in some money. But... I don't know because now I'm like in order to like in order to turn all the work that I've done over the years because I've done so much work over the years that hasn't even made the internet um like in order to turn those into products I now need to generate the money to get my things turned into a product that I can sell and that puts me back into back to square one and I'm like if I can if I'm gonna find the money to buy to turn like let's say my textile prints into greeting cards let's say i've been thinking about that greeting cards and small prints the money that i'm going to use to get those printed like that's going to be a lot of money and i'm like surely i should be putting that money towards buying the rest of my custom printed fabric right so i can get my collection finished but then i think to myself what's the point of that because you're not able to pay like you could probably muster up the money to do us to do like a stall or something but how how there's other there's other costs involved excuse me of 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 doing a store at a market there's your marketing costs because you've got to like you've got marketing things to take with you on the day you've got to buy a rail you got you've got to somehow get to the event you've got to put certain things on the table to market you as a as a designer also I, I can't I can't do a seven hour shift at a store. So I'm gonna have to try and find someone who's either gonna do the store for me part of the day or come with me for the day and I'm gonna have to pay for someone. You know what I mean? I haven't got the I just I haven't got the energy to do the whole day. I just I can't do it. You know what I mean? Which is the whole reason why I decided to be self employed in, self employed in the first place. Because I can set my own hours and when I need to lie down, which I do need to do because sitting upright really hurts, I can just lie down during the day if I need to. You know what I mean? There's all these different things that run running through my head. And I'm just like, when is the money going to come? When is the money going to come? Not even to keep me motivated, but just to balance out this situation. And that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's where I'm at. I know things are real. When I'm on my Twitch stream and I'm talking about this stuff on Twitch. Is that what Twitch is for? Maybe, because it's a good platform to connect with people. But is that really what I want to be talking about on Twitch? I don't know. I don't know, but I am. This is all coming out of me, you know what I mean? I just I just want to know when the money's coming. And I know as artists, we put our heart and soul into our products. And we 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 design our products with love. But we still want the products to eventually, you know bring the money <laughs> just like it's just like when is the money gonna come <laughs> it's like i'm just tired i just feel like <sighs> i think i just i needed to talk about this so if you've made it this far in the video i thank you and uh, if you can relate to anything I've said, go ahead and, and leave a comment below wherever you're listening or watching this. Um, you can find links to every fucking thing I'm doing online under this, under wherever you're listening or watching this. Because there are a lot of things that I am doing. And I'm, and like... I'm wondering if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm doing if I'm doing the most because I don't actually know what the clear path is to bringing in the money. I know I can't make the money happen, right? I know I can't make it happen because you know I'm not entitled to sales. But I'm just saying I've been out here a long time, and I just feel like. When's the money coming? I just want a bit of balance, that's all. 
I want to go balance.